Uh, yeah, so the autosave system. Um, and there are some places later on in the game where you can manually save. But we have missed an interesting log here somewhere. I think it's back, further back here. Hey, sir. Yeah, there are some uh, like item box save rooms type things, but they are so, so incredibly um, few and far between. They're almost pointless in the game. Come on, love. Take your medicine. <laughs> I do love the way they just kind of flop down. But you can see how kind of not that necessary the reload system is. Because you can just you know, do that. So this is the one I was looking for. Admiral's Diary, translated from Japanese. 8th of August, 1945. Honor. A word the Allied forces will never understand. Thousands of innocent souls in seconds destroyed by the US atomic bomb. Not those of soldiers, not those of men who made a choice to fight and sacrifice themselves in service of our great nation, but those of uh, specific civilians who lived in those cities. Now totally cancelled, women and children, our families are gone, obliterated by their desire for dominance, by the desire to show the world str the strength of their science, the atomic bomb. But now, the time has come to show them the strength of our science. It took years of hardship to develop terrible weapons, but the worst we could imagine arrived simply by chance. We had chosen to keep the scourge, our worst discovery, a secret because it was too inhumane even for Unit 74. I find that hard to believe. Where men were granted the luxury of releasing the darkness of their spirits. A weapon too inhumane for war. But not too inhumane for those western people who lost all traces of honour with the push of a button. The men of this crew, the fathers and sons now deprived of their loved ones, have renamed it uh, Sujin, the, con the condemnation. <coughs> Font's a little bit hard to read actually when it's uh, capitalised like that. Don't have dyslexia, kids. It's not fun. The world literally works, and histories will remember the people behind the atomic bomb as villainous and blatant. A mass genocide that will tarnish their conscience forever. But this is not enough. Not for us. Not for the families they cancelled in one second. Perseverance is better than defeat. The new emperor ordered that Sujin be spread over the enemy, a divine noiseless wind, but extremely lethal. Our condemnation will tear their hearts out and lead them on a path to the same suffering we are experiencing. We departed from Tokyo a few hours ago and expect a long journey to the American coast, where the plague will be unleashed and a story out of their science fiction novels will run its course. At this very moment, a second I-400 of the glorious Japanese Imperial Navy should be leaving Osaka, ready to deliver the second and last reserve of the plague to a top-secret location in Germany. Unit 74 no longer exists, swept away by a 20 kiloton blast, but its creation is more alive than ever, and it could still shift the balance of power in the world in our favour. We must do everything we can and leave the rest to fate. Admiral... Sinji M. Yeah, so that submarine was carrying some kind of disease to the Americas for revenge for the new king of Japan. Curious. Right, let's turn the systems back on. Okay. Systems. All right. I was going to say, I'm waiting for this guy to get up. I know he does. Yeah, we are at the mercy of the autosave here, guys. How many bullets are you going to take? Two. They do sometimes get up again after you put them down. Uh, it's not super common, but it does happen. All right. Let's go. They'll only ever get up twice, though. 
kind of like the new Resident Evil games. I don't think zombies get up like more than twice. And there is the submarine, which is now highlighted. There's something down below. It looks like a huge submarine with markings that resemble biohazard symbols. And could the flag really be Japanese? Yeah, that was uh that was a sentence of words. Anyway. So there's the submarine that was going to uh gas the Americas. Never made it to its uh final destination, luckily. Oh she's uh She's pretty active. Now you gotta be careful with zombies, because uh, ascent. Come on, dude. There is no wind up animation to them attacking you. If they get close enough, they will just instantly latch on. It's not good. And I suppose we can slowly reload our gun. Because why not? But you always want to make sure your magazines are topped up. Just because. It's better than, uh, you know ending up with nothing. Now, I think there's a little zombie over here. Hello. Yeah, ma'am. Take your medicine, love. She's... She had some girl balls. She's dead now. continue into the lab and see what we can find. Looks like this this first episode is either going to be a long one or it'll be one we cut in half, but you know, that's fine. Hey zombies. Now, sometimes if you shoot a zombie in the head uh, from behind, it goes down in one shot don't really understand the science of it. Enemy health does appear to be random. Which, you know, is fine. Damn, better find some ammo. We got plenty of ammo. Come on, buddy. There you go. Have your fill. Now, you're supposed to be able to tell if an enemy is dead by if they bleed out. Uh, the only trouble with that is, depending on the texture of the ground, you might not actually be able to see that um, blood filtering out, even if it does. Yeah, man. Right, use, combine. There we go. Now, it might look like we run out of ammo, but trust us, we've got plenty. Yep, I think that was a one-shot kill on that guy, which pleases me. Let's get out of here. Get nice and decontaminated. Oh, there's supposed to be like a decontamination spray that happens there, but uh, I guess we skipped it somehow sample I have to recover is inside this chamber. Alright. We can do that. Hmm. Hopefully that guy doesn't come to life. He's dead. Now this is going to introduce us to the game's hacking um, tutorial, which is fine, I guess. It's not something that really comes up very often. Ooh, what have we got here? Uh, rapid use fluid. So, 
yeah, rapid use fluid is something that we can um, use. That's basically your red herb that makes other compounds better. Oh, an energy drink, you see? So energy drinks don't really um, heal you that much, but we can combine them with that to create a better healing agent. Now, what you can do, you can actually combine two health fluids together. Now, you would assume that if you combine two health fluids together, wow, that will probably uh, heal you fully or something like that. Uh, no, 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 no. So remember I said that uh, when we use these, our health will slowly trickle back. It's actually that slow, fairly quick. Uh, if you combine them, it gives you the same amount of health, but it gives you the health instantly. Yeah, Pff, pointless, really, to be honest with you. But anyway, that's how that works. Now, this is a Hexacore Biogenics encrypted file. File code. So basically, what you've got to do here to read these, you've got to Alt-Tab out of the game, type in that code, uh, and go to the Hexacore uh, website and find the server and type it in to read it. Why? I don't know. Uh, I haven't bothered to read any of these, to be honest. Uh, the developer themselves say that they're not like required for the game. I don't even know what they are. Because, to be honest, the writing isn't good enough uh, t for that. <laughs> to be honest however i've done you guys a solid and i've looked them all up all right so <laughs> after some fiddling i did actually try to get onto their website and do this legitimately but the website doesn't work on my tablet so and i don't have an obscure tablet either it's a uh, samsung galaxy tab s8 <laughs> uh, pff, fuck knows Anyway, so this file actually reads US Government Department of Defense Chat Assistance Network System version 2002 Subject Emergency Assistance from Matthew Frey Connection to Users Research Personnel Level 3 Security Personnel Level 1 AGS Communication ID Blah 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 Loads of shit and then the actual chat status connected. Operator, good evening, sir. How may I assist you? Uh, then MF, send health. Operator, what is the emergency, sir? MF, Christ, what a mess. My hand's still ringing from that blast, but at least I have my head. Afraid I can't say the name for, say the same for Trevor. Oh my God. Operator, sir, explain the situation first and then we'll find you a solution. MF, what? Three of us, Mike, Elaine, and myself, made it this far. We've locked ourselves in the lab, but the door won't hold for long. Operator, sir, please remain calm. I need you to explain what is happening. MF, you want me to explain what the fuck is going on? Caster is loose. I don't know how, though. Everybody's freaking out. We never should have gone into that vessel. But, fuck, they're coming through. Please send help right away. Operator, sir, are you there? Sir? Emergency status confirmed. System connection suspended. Okay. Caster is on the loose, eh? Caster. What is a caster? Well, we shall find out. Okay. Let's grab up. Yeah, we know how the hacking works. The hacking system is alright. There's not a huge amount of areas in this game where you actually need to hack anyway. Um, but, you know. So, we're going to go for hack. And then you want to put one finger on F and one finger on Q. So this will, you get three tries um, or three uh, misclicks and it's over. If you fuck it up, you burn the cable out and the cable's gone for good. If you complete this, you actually get to keep the hacking cable. So they're not really single use consumables. So as you can see, we've got two white lines moving up and down. We need to get the white line in the black square. Now, as soon as we activate one, doesn't matter which one, we get a countdown that will start. These are not too bad. Um, I 
don't think I've actually ever failed one. Um, you get different ones. You get like, I think you get medium, you get hard, and you get very hard. I'll be honest, I don't really know what the difference is between them. Uh, oh, oh, hello. Tab back over. We've got another secret encrypted file. Now, as I said before, I haven't read these. So this is all new to me. Uh, so, IC to research team. Finally, the latest batch of test subjects is on its way. You must transfer them immediately to the morgue's refrigerator until trials are conducted. Last time, the damage to the epidermis was significant enough to advise impact. Oh, to adversely impact the results of the test. Below is a list of identification codes that must be stored in the archive. TB, MG, A, D, B, F, I, S, F, G, G, M, M, A, Z, D, A, D, M, M, L, R, G, F. Michael Ironside, Logistics Manager, Aegis Lab, North Blue 2 Facility. Okay. Uh, Why these... <sighs> Why these aren't in the game is absolutely ridiculous. It really is. Anyway, there's loads of bullets in here. Now, these hacked doors, you would assume that there's loads of cool stuff in here. Uh, usually, there's not much, to be honest. Usually, like, it's a pack of handgun bullets, maybe a healing item. That's about it. Anyway, we picked up another fluid. Ah, right, this is mental fluid. So... Mental fluid is the stuff that you basically generally throw away because all it does is highlight objects that you can pick up and interact with in the environment. Uh, and that is, I mean, sure, I guess you can actually combine it with a health so you can get the health benefits and the um, mental fluid in one shot. Uh, it's there was an item in Resident Evil 7 that did the same thing wasn't there, there those tablets you could take and it would highlight everything you can pick up in the room it's it's that it doesn't do anything it's it's a strange thing we also need to check these monitors this is going to be important for the next puzzle um, but we don't really need to check the monitors because I know the solutions. Wakey wakey, eggs and bakey. Now zombies have like iframes. And they're kind of annoying. Uh, you also you will get stuck on the environment. Huh. Probably has to do with the chamber's cooling system. Yeah, we're not actually looking at the puzzle. Lev, just saying, buddy. Not actually looking at the puzzle. Yeah. Yeah, these guys aren't really that much to worry about, are they? Now, you can see we've got some hollow point ammo here. Hollow point ammo does way more damage than your standard bullets. Now, what you can do if you wanted, say, for instance, we could empty one magazine... And load that load a magazine up with hollow points. So when we go to reload, we can cycle between the two ammo types. Uh, hollow points just oh also that doesn't work the way you think because the bullet that's actually chambered in the gun is still a standard bullet. So you won't get to your hollow points until you've used that one and got deeper into the magazine which is kind of cool don't get me wrong it's an interesting thing um yeah uh, so holly hollow points aren't actually that much more powerful i can't really tell the difference to be honest i mean i'm sure they are but uh it, it's not a big difference so anyway, maintenance and renewal of containment rooms Dear Dr. Everett, by now you're probably sick of many, many appeals, but I really must insist that the maintenance team uh, for controlling temperatures in the containment rooms be remedied immediately. The system is supposed to automatically turn on once the air reaches a, 
a specified temperature. Instead, I'm forced to send one of my people to adjust it at the terminal outside the room, which regulates the level of nitrogen via spectrum every six hours by hand. By hand! To avoid further inconveniences and to fulfill your managerial responsibility to mend the system, please, please send another technician to fix the damn machine. I sincerely appreciate the assistance. Yeah, uh, that does seem to be a potential issue. Got a lot of biomass here. Got some strange jellyfish. Archived files. This diary belongs to a Aegis researcher. Some of the dates are circled with red ink. 1995. Pollux. We can finally create the perfect soldier. Strong, resilient and self-repairing. And to think that most of the grunt work was done by none other than Mother Nature herself. For some reason, the local jellyfish, which are already capable of amazing regeneration, inhibited, uh, inhabited the sunken vessel, whereby they became exposed to the chemical agent. From there, they reproduced generation after generation, growing stronger with each mutation that altered their DNA and birth hybrids. We studied these new aquatic life forms outwardly similar to Hydra Syndria, but far more aggressive and much more dangerous. In time, we'll use our study to create a new virus that can turn regular soldiers into genetically advanced war machines. But in the meantime, all we can do is wait for the government to fulfill its promise in order to begin human trials. 1997. If I think back to just a few years, it feels like a century ago. Although Castor is now the pinnacle of modern biological warfare, Pollux is also on track to fruition. The Hydrocyndria finally gifted us its firstborn. We've had a major breakthrough, a passing of the torch of sorts. Even if it would be foolhardly, foolhardly to hide the fact that we need more time. Time is something that the army and government officials just won't allow us. They've promised Pollux to their allies and Pollux they shall have. The only issue is we haven't been able to solve uh, is one that puts the entire program into jeopardy. This is the perfect soldiers we've prototyped is anything but perfect. We've injected the virus into hundreds of candidates with wide genetic variations, yet we're nowhere near a solution. In fact, in just a few minutes, the virus begins to strengthen its host. Uh, although no visible external changes are apparent, in just two to three hours after infection, Pollux is able to regenerate cells and tissue, progressively increasing the power and resilience of its host. This is truly a remarkable accomplishment that will advance medical and military research by decades in just a few short years, if not for the grave side effects that we have uh, afflicted almost every subject during experimentation. All the physical enhancements afforded by the Pollux virus are subordinate to a single inescapable necessity, the host's assimilation of specific hormones that balance and regulate the body which are otherwise produced by the hypothalamus. As long as, the as long as large enough quantities of these hormones are assimilated in concentrated doses due to the demand of accelerated metabolisms in enhanced organisms, the subject's psyche remains lucid and aware while strength, resistance or resilience, I should say, and regenerative powers remain under control. However, when these hormones become absent for prolonged periods, the first sign of mental deterioration appear, causing blackouts and gradually destroying all forms of conscious decision making. After that, in most cases, the body undergoes unpredictable psych uh, physical changes that lead to its eventual total destruction. What we need to accomplish in the remaining months afforded to the study is to find a solution as the project as a whole is at stake. 1998. The government agents regularly visit the lab and help themselves to experimental data, and this... Uh, and samples from the most important studies. We've lost a lot of sleep in the past few months, but haven't been able to figure out the hormone dilemma that's been plaguing our research, other than administering a large amount of synthetic hormone to Pollux infectees. The military and strategic purpose of viral weapons is to keep the host in an intermediate state where they phys whereby physical abilities are greatly enhanced, yet always under conscious control that respond lucidly to orders. The only way to achieve this is to force subjects to inject themselves with hormones. All of this, of course, is inevitably oh, is inevitably subject to a series of unknowns that the military doesn't seem to care about. 
I wonder what would happen if one of the subjects turned against its creator. Intentionally or not able to take the synthetic hormones, amongst other things that are limited on the battlefield. Unless subjects are damaged beyond regenerative capabilities, these potentially unstoppable and lethal soldiers could just go on a killing spree with no one to stop them. That is, until the absence of the necessary hormones causes its own self-destruction. And this isn't really a solution, as one test so showed, when a subject infected by Pollock somehow gifted with increased intelligence took a researcher captive inside the lab. After several hours of negotiations, the subject, obviously suffering from mental deterioration, tore open the researcher's head and devoured his hypothalamus in a grotesque feeding frenzy that afforded it the necessary hormones it was lacking. This extended its life by several hours and it regained some intelligence that was lost during the experiment. As far as I'm concerned, despite however many years I've dedicated to this program, PLX731 is officially just another failed bioweapon experiment. The reason for its failure lies in the inability to produce, even artificially, the necessary hormones to maintain life and sedate its host. Apparently, however, the higher-ups have their own ideas regarding this. All we can do now is narrow down the search and do what they tell us yet again. Oh, Jesus Christ. That's what you call a Bible. Anywho, we can't go because we've got to grab Pollux. Grab the game by the Pollux. So, N, uh, so this is N2 cooling system overload. Single one nitrogen stack use activated. Let's do it. So here we have a puzzle, second puzzle of the game. Uh, this one is not bad, to be honest. Um, it's fairly simple. We need to get, I think, four stacks in that one. We need two stacks in that one and one stack in this one. So, but we could only take one stack out at a time. So, let's start working. This one needs to be completely emptied if memory serves. It's a slow process, but it's fine. One more for that one. There we go. I'm sure that's supposed to be minus 15, that one. Uh, right, so now chamber two. Let's put another one in there. Okay. Right, we might not. So minus 15, minus 20, and bum, 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 bum. I thought that was right. So where have we gone wrong here? Right, let's think about this. Um, you know what? Where's my solutions guide? Let's just grab my solution guide. that the one? Nope, we're still missing something here. Um, hmm. Oh, hang on. I think I've got it the wrong way around. So it goes in like a ziggity zag type of dealio, I think. Ah, uh, no. No, that's fine. That's fine. We've got this. And then drop you down. There we go. Perfect. Now we can go get our sample. Excellent. But we hit a save point there, guys. And as we're on literally an hour of recording, I'm going to stop this one here. Uh, and then we're going to continue. So thank you very much for watching, guys. And as always, till next time.